Anybody want to guess what I'm going to talk about? Oh, the traffic circle, of course, but we're going to save that for last. That's the best part. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is, guys, okay, don't roll your eyes when I say this. I work really hard on this. It's a cool thing, and it's, okay, the app. We have a new app this year. It's going to work better than the old app, but I don't want you to get rid of your old app yet because the new app is live in the iTunes store, but not yet for you Android people. Um, so what's cool about it is when you um, download it, you're going to choose your groups. So you're going to choose the, the ages your students are, what grades they're in, what sports they're in, what extracurricular activities they're in, all of that stuff. So that when we send out those push notifications, it'll go just to the people that they pertain to. So everybody won't get one unless I send it out to everyone. It's something important that everybody needs to see. So, I can't remember what the next thing is. So you're going to search for Heritage Christian Academy. Now, it's, it looks different. <laughs> you want the one that looks exactly the same, but with the maroon background and not the white background. So, if you want to do that now... I'll wait. I need to see those fingers moving. So what we want to do is this is where we want to get you to have you, I want you to be able to get all your information from this. I thought about like nicknaming it the big app or something. Like I need a name for it. So anyway, that's where you're gonna go and you're gonna find hopefully find everything. But it's brand new. I haven't I have to take this class to figure out how to use it. So anyway, I want you to install it now. I want you to allow push notifications. And I don't want you to get rid of the old one yet. So hopefully in the next maybe week or so we can do that. Okay. Is there anything else on that slide? What does that say? Oh, groups are important. So my mom opened the app the other day and she's like, oh, it's asking me these questions. I'm like, mom, come on, it's cool and new. Answer the questions. So that's what I want you to do. Answer the questions. Okay, so what we've all been waiting for. The traffic circle. I don't know how I got this job, but... In 1865, I got the job of telling everybody at Open House how the traffic circle works. So, you're in for a treat because it hasn't changed. In your packets, are, so you're supposed to have a map of our campus and the surrounding streets, so you will have a visual of our traffic circle. But I'm going to try and talk you through it now because that's what I do. Alright, in the mornings, you will drive past the school on this road, 341, drive past the school and go all the way down to Robarts Road. Robarts Road is a road right beside Loaves of Fishes, and Loaves of Fishes is that little blue building in the corner, front corner of our campus. Just beyond that is called... Robarts. Mm, thank you, Sheriff. Appreciate you. Robarts Road, that's where you turn in. Don't turn in these front, these front driveways in the morning. Mm-mm. Go all the way down the Robarts Road. So once you turn on Robarts Road, turn right onto the first drive onto our campus. This next part is new. So everybody listen up. School start times have changed this year. And everybody starts at the same time. We all start at 8 o'clock. What time? 8 o'clock. Very good. We all start at 8 o'clock. So there needs to be an order in how we drop off our students. How many of you have elementary children and upper school children? Raise your hand. There's several of you that have to do the double drop off. So what I need you to do is drop off your elementary student first. So you're gonna people, you're gonna come all the way. You're gonna turn in the first one, come all the way down here, make the loop in front of the school, and then you're gonna get in line with the upper school people, and that's how you're gonna exit the parking lot. Now, the reason we need you to do that is if you try to drop off your upper school person first and then you turn and you try to get in the line with the elementary people, we're all afraid that we're going to start some weird figure eight continuum and we won't be able to get out of it and just don't be that person. Elementary students first and then upper school students. So, where were we? Yes, we had just turned in the first drive off of Roadbox Road, drive past the gym towards the sanctuary. We've already done all that. Here's a big thing. Don't park your car when you're dropping off in the mornings. Please don't park your car. If you have to get out of your car to get a kid out or to stretch your legs or whatever, 
driver, don't park in this drive-thru. You need to park your car. On Monday, you can walk your child, your elementary children in, and your high school children if you want to. You can walk in your elementary children all the way to their classroom because you need to help them carry their things, and you need to take a picture, and you need to pat them on their head and hug them and love them and leave them there, and they go up call and cry. I understand. We have to do all that on Monday. But on Tuesday, we're going to start a new habit where you say goodbye either in your car or on the porch. This is a safety issue. This is a safety issue. It causes a lot of confusion when we have 10 or 20 or even like four extra people coming in and out the doors because we start accounting for students when they come through the door, especially the little ones. I don't, I don't, I I've never lost a little one yet. This is not the year, people, okay? So, um, we need you to stop on the porch. Um, so, I also need you to tell everyone that drops off your child to tell them goodbye on the porch. So, listen, everybody look at me and listen. If you get stopped on the porch, don't mean love me. Don't look at me ugly. Just don't give me no ugly looks, okay? It's a rule. You've got to follow the rules. Um, then if you have, after you drop off your elementary student, if you have an upper school student, you just get back in line. Or, of course, most of the upper school students know you just make the short circle around. I've talked a really long time about this. So, when you're exiting the campus, does everybody know that there's a secret exit? Yeah. The, do you? Okay, for those of you that don't know, when you go back to Robarts Road, and you can take a right and make a walk. And that causes a lot less congestion up here. And then also, this is a warning for all of you. During the afternoon pickup, the, the same rules apply. Don't park your car in the traffic circle. If you park your car in the traffic circle, you take your own life into your own hands. I cannot save you from the angry mama behind you wondering why you've stopped them. Don't park in the traffic circle, okay? And that, my friends, is the traffic circle.